Hi Pisces, welcome back in. I hope you're healthy and safe. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what messages come through for you, Pisces. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. Don't force the reading on your situation, right? Okay. I'm going to have money messages. And at the end, and if you feel like you can reverse the roles, right? So you are ready, Pisces. The situation will improve if you believe. So my God. Can you see how strong the law of attraction is here? Things are definitely getting better now. For some of you, I see you have touched the rock bottom in a situation, right? Nothing bad can happen anymore. It's already worse, right? Now it's going to get up and up and up, right? If you believe, but there's a warning here. What you're going to manifest is going to come back to you. What you're trying to manifest in your life is going to come back to you. So if you believe you are ready, if you believe that you can do it, if you believe that you deserve it, only then it's going to come to you, right? So positive thinking, hope, and law of attraction is strong here, right, Pisces? I see you are, you're, you're set. And you know what? I'm getting this vibe that if you want, you can manifest it. If you try, you can manifest it. So let's dive in a little deeper and see what's happening with you, right? Okay, let's keep it here. Pisces, if you believe the situation will improve and you are ready. It's so hard to shuffle this deck. Yeah, okay. So let's see what's happening with you and what's coming up for you this week. Pisces. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm getting this vibe. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Three, three, four. It's upsetting. It's really disheartening. I see right now you're going through a phase where you're hurt. This has already happened for some of you. Maybe you've been through a breakup or a very terrible situation in your love connection, right? Something has happened and I think you still feel it. You, you still feel that uh, pain. For some of you, I see you were not expecting this, what what came in front of you suddenly, right? That sudden shift, that sudden unexpected, um, whatever it was, it was heartbreaking, right? It was upsetting. Moon, yeah. I see that this is the phase right now. You're going through a phase where you're turning away from the situation. You are in that manifestation mode. Again, you know, this is that energy where you turn away. This is after two of wands, three of wands. So this is the energy where the decision has already been made. The things have been done. You have uplifted. You have, you know, chosen your direction. Now this is the time where you wait, manifest, stand on the hill, wait for the ships to come in, right? This is that phase of gap, that phase of pause, right? What you don't see coming in the future is this, right? So again, I see this is totally inconcurrent. You feel you're not ready because you feel you're healing. You are going through a heartbreak. You're going through a situation which will take time to recover. And you are in that mode where you're trying to recover and holding back. But what you don't know is that probably this was, you know, this was meant to happen because you have to manifest this in your life. Pisces, you don't see this coming. This is something you don't see, right? Uh, so you're ready for it. You're holding back. You feel that I need some healing time period, but no. I see if you believe you're ready for it, it is going to happen. Lovers, a beautiful, massive connection that will sweep you off your ground. And you will look at the angel like this. Oh my God, was this your plan? See how this, this uh, lady is looking up to the angel and, you know, it's like the reaction is, oh my God, I did not know that. Was this your plan? This is going to be your reaction. Just wait for it, right? That's what I'm picking up. No matter what is happening right now, I see it is heartbreak heartbreaking, but a good, important decision in love is coming your way and it's going to be worth it, right? Mark my word, it's going to be worth it. But you have to come out of this energy, right? You have. To, I think you're already coming out of this. This is more healing energy, right? Turning away, waiting for the ships to come in and just going with the flow. If you believe, wow, and, and oh my God, what you don't see here is the sun, right? You're so much into your energies right now, Pisces. 
uh, you're looking downwards, looking at the people, you know, barking at you. By barking, I mean it's like people are throwing opinions at you. Maybe criticism, maybe some stuff that you don't want to hear, you know. After something bad happens or after something terrible happens, there are a lot of people in our surroundings who just come up and say, Oh, I told you, you shouldn't have done that. I was telling you, you know. It, it's the pattern, you know. This is what people do. Don't, don't give a fuck to them. Empire says, I see... What's coming towards you is amazing, so don't listen to unnecessary criticism. I heard a quote, I, I, I'm sorry, I read a quote somewhere, Pisces, that never take criticism from the people you won't take advice from when you need it, right? So if you don't find somebody uh, good enough to get advice from them when you need, do not unnecessarily take their criticism also. So whatever they say, just give them, just show them the middle finger, right? Nothing else. So let's see what's coming up with you with a specific person you're thinking about somebody on your mind and um, Maybe your love interest you're turning away from somebody. I can see that Right, okay Pisces Somebody on your mind. Okay, some information is rushing towards you from this. Okay. I think this person All right Pisces I feel that this person wants to rush in towards you and I think at heart they want to confession of love, they want to confess. But they see you so unavailable. For some of you I see they can see, okay, <clears throat> I see that they can see that you are seeing someone. Fucking shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let me explain it better. I see here that this person is rushing in towards you. You might hear from this person unexpected, right? The communication here. They want to say something, we're going to clarify what is this confession. Because I see that they're quite independent of the situation right now and you might be going through a massive change in your love life in the near future, we're going to see what is this confession because they want to say something. And at heart, you're just not available. Ten of Swords, yeah, yes. I see you making an important decision. I don't know, I'm just getting a vibe that the person you're thinking about is the person you're dealing with right now one person is going to be independent of the situation in the near future right they do love you they want to confess the love but they might not be present in the situation in the future because because you can find something which is so beautiful that you don't need oh my god i'm getting a lot of downloads here <laughs> let me have more clarity let me have more clarity okay why are you heartbroken first of all first and the foremost why are you heartbroken here judgment knight of cups king of pentacles okay i see someone wants a second chance with you or you want a second chance with somebody can be a taurus Virgo, capricorn here for some of you i see someone asked for a second chance and tried offering you love but again there was ignorance if there was a confession of love why is there a heartbreak let's see for some of you i'm getting this message that you were having something when this person came back and tried talking to you and you're upset because you wanted to give them a chance, but you wouldn't do something that, at that time. You were in the middle of something. Maybe you were healing from a heartbreak or you are healing from a heartbreak. I do see there's a confession of love, but I think you're going through so much that you're not giving this person a chance. Nine of Swords. I see that uh, this person is uh, giving you a new jer knee-jerk reaction, very unexpected knee-jerk reaction because they're super attracted to you but they can see that you are going through so much and you're about to make a choice in your life. And the moment they see that, that you're turning away and you're doing something in your life, you're going to get a knee-jerk reaction from this person's side. What is this? Oh yeah, they're, they're freaked out. They're freaked out. You know, they're so insecure and freaked out. For some of you, I'm getting this message that this person was holding back. They were not ready to open up. And this was really hurtful. This was really hurtful. And now when they see you moving on or maybe having something new in your life very soon, they're going to have... Yeah, I see a knee-jerk reaction here. Now you know what? It's like this person is super conflicted. And I see drama here. They're hoping for something. For some of you, I just feel that they're just stuck in their own expectations. Start with the Eight of Swords. They're having some high hopes. They're having some high dreams. And they don't know they're, they're stuck in their own dreams, right? Eight of Swords in the star is not a good energy, right? Star itself is a beautiful energy, healing, having hopes, having expectations for a good future energy, right? But Eight of Swords along with that shows me that they're just stuck into it and they're not ready to see the reality. They're hoping for something, but they're not able to see the reality. And that is leading to some unfair things here, right? Five of Swords. 
because they are having they are living in some such high hopes and such uh, you know self centered thoughts it's like what they think is what they believe they don't want to see the reality and because of that i see the trickery is happening the mind games are happening right you're turning away because you don't like it you know this person really likes you but this hurts you yeah for some of you i see you miss somebody six of cups past you're thinking about somebody from the past maybe knight of pentacles and the empress okay for some of you okay i see you want to balance the situation i see virgo energy libra queen of cups and we have here the lover is interesting you miss somebody pisces you, you're thinking about somebody here right you're thinking about so for some of you it's not this person let me see what is this love is happening to you this is and this energy at the end actually made me happy doesn't matter what's going on right now it's just a journey it's just something that has to happen because the universe wants to give you this right so i i'm really not i'm just feeling very light in this energy no matter of this heartbreak no matter i see this pain here the trickery here these mind games these tower moments i can see a lot of things happening on the table but when i see this it makes me feel okay it's definitely improving right and whatever is happening you might not understand it right now but it's definitely for your good what's lover lover's energy here page of cups all right so for some of you i see um again knight of swords sun the, the cards are repeating so for some of you i see here pisces that you are holding back from this person because i see you are focusing your energy towards something else this is usually work but here i see that you're finding something so beautiful lover's energy that you want to focus there you want to just dedicate and focus your energy there and i see apology for some of you i see some past person might come back to you or you might want to go to some past person i see you missing somebody and this person i you you might feel that this person quite is quite resistive and they hold back i don't i see this lack of connectivity with somebody right now that's the energy i felt you wanted things to work out you were looking for growth but somewhere i'm picking up that you don't feel that connectivity with somebody right and there's something from the past you want to rekindle with or you want to revive okay eight of wands page of wands and the seven of pentacles they're waiting for you this person is not giving on the hope giving up on the hope i see you ignoring them for some time transformation death lovers every time i try to dive inside the deck i see lovers and four of wands and sun so for some of you there's a longing for a connection but because of some reasons because this transformation is happening that connection is not able to come out right that connection that card is not able to come out on the table so i get an energy here i get a feeling here by says that this person is willing to talk to you and you're going to get some knee jerk reactions from their side very unexpected but the problem this person has is that they live in some futuristic hope they just live in some dreams and their eyes are blindfolded they don't want to live on the ground they don't want to see the reality and they play tricks they they manipulate things they do stuff which probably you don't like because i think that hurts you maybe that's the some that's i'm sorry that's something that hurts you they're going to reach out to you again they're going to try talking to you again and they're going to be waiting for you to respond but i don't see you responding because i don't know i just feel that you're finding something different you're making a choice in love you're making a decision and i don't really see you them see you turning them down but i see you giving up on something which is which you cannot bear anymore for some of you i also heard that you were trying to ignore something from your past for a very long time and now you're feeling that i can't anymore i need to take a leap of faith i'm giving up i cannot just stay away from this person anymore so for some of you this is the energy where you want to rekindle with somebody and you're done waiting so you might take a take a chance there right for others i see that you are intentionally creating distance with this person for some time because you have to make some important decisions and once that done you're going to see with what future it leads you to right I do see that you're creating emotional distance for some time and you're holding back from a specific person for some time, right? We have 5 of wands. Yeah, I see super conflicted energy. It's like someone is standing in front of a mirror and thinking and thinking and thinking. 
Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama. Again, five of swords. Energy. You know somebody is full of drama. What do you want to do or what you are going to do? Only invest if the situation really worth your time, right? Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. Again, this is the energy where I feel that somebody is super ambitious. They want to confess. They, they do like you. I'm not denying that. But somebody is super ambitious and you're wondering, is it a good thing? Is it a good thing to work with this person? Because I see there's somebody from the past who's still on your mind, right? So I think there's a conflict between picking the right person here. Four of Pentacles. For a lot of you, I see you holding back from this person for some time. Because, again, I see lack of surety here, right? Pisces. Pisces. What do you need to hear? A personal issue reaches resolution and work through your fears. Pisces, I see there's a fear opening up to this thing. You're holding back. There's a massive energy of love, abundance, security, divine connection in your surroundings, but you don't want to open up to it. I see you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid of the drama. Maybe you're afraid of the conflict. Maybe you're afraid that this person will break your heart. But I see there's an energy in your surroundings which you're avoiding. And uh, there's a big, there's a big energy that if you believe, you can actually work through it, right? It's just some insecurity that I'm picking up, right? There's some, just some insecurity. Pisces, folk in the road, decision time. You're, you're, you're coming to a dead end at a point, right? It's a T point. I see you cannot move forward. Either you have to pick up right or left or some new direction, but you cannot move forward from this point. Now what will you do, right? It's like, again, I'm getting this dead end energy for some of you. You will have to pick up the right thing here. Right, Pisces? I see no place like home. I'm just getting a vibe that you're missing somebody or you want to rekindle with somebody, but there's a feeling that how can I go back or how can I talk to this person again? Or it's just that I don't trust this person again. So how are you going to deal with it? Pisces, what do you need to hear? Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of happy, happy holiday time together. Wedding, the situation involves marriage and children. Hmm, okay. Wow. Children, healing family issues. My God, this is intense, Pisces. This is really intense. What are you going to do? I see past on your mind and I see you healing from something terrible right now. What Pisces needs to hear? Let's have some money messages for you first. I see you, the, 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 the only advice that I'm getting here is that take a step back, heal, relax, believe in yourself, be strong and come back, right? And then figure out things because I see right now, there's so much conflict in your surroundings that you're not able to make the right decision. Step back for some time, right? That's, that's something I'm getting here gift okay in your work life vices i see some exchange of gifts taking place so you might meet new people you might come across some new opportunities and i also feel that some promotion some unexpected uh, present can come to you in your work area now right so this can be some sudden upliftment yeah i see message for some of you i feel that this is not um <laughs> work honestly i see that you can unexpectedly rekindle with somebody from the past you're missing right you can message this person this person can message you i see someone acting mature here and taking the lead in a situation and you can meet somebody bring gifts to them sit with them talk to them spend some good time even if it's not a relationship it can be a good energy to rekindle with somebody right i see that's going to heal you for some time that's going to be a good wipe right and taking a break from the drama in your surroundings so this is what i have for you guys thank you so much guys for watching bye bye